What's up, guys? We're back, and I'm taking a look at some more NBA player props, this time over on Prize Picks. Another profitable day for me yesterday. I'm looking to dive back in, hopefully catch some more winners today on Wednesday. Let's get into it, hopefully catch some wins. Before we do, though, if you guys are not already on Prize Picks and you guys want to join, you can use promo code DUMG to get your first deposit matched up to $100. Link to join Prize Picks is down in my description below. But if you guys are not in the Dub Club, right now is one of the best times to join. If you don't know what Dub Club is, it is a messaging service since all the entries that I make to you straight to your phone. Whatever entry that I make on prize picks, underdog, parlay play, sleeper, chalkboard, it all gets sent straight to your phone. Every entry that I make, I'm a reputable guy. I'm up over $5,700 right now on prize picks, as you guys can see right here. We caught a bunch of wins yesterday, so I was really happy with how yesterday turned out. Just the other night, we ended up cashing out a 10x entry, as you guys can see right up there. So if you guys want to join the dub club and see everything that I'm playing, use the links down in my description below. The first offer is all access. It is going to be 25% off of your first month of all access. That includes all sports, all everything. The second offer is NBA only, which is $5 off of your first month. So both offers are down in my description. Uh, NBA is going to be about five bucks cheaper than all access. If you, if you don't really like the uh, NFL or the NHL or anything like that, then you guys can just get the NBA package if that's what you're looking for. So yeah, we've been absolutely killing it as of late. I mean, we had back to back really, really nice days. And I'm looking to make that a third straight day in today's video. So I'm looking to make that three straight really nice days here. So if you guys want to see some more from me, make sure you guys join the Dub Club. You guys can see every entry that I make. And by the way, the ways it gets sent to you is through like Dub Club app, email, Telegram, Discord. So there's a bunch of different ways to receive my plays and get them sent to you. But with that being said, let's dive into the video here. But real quick before we do, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and leave a like and have those post notifications turned on because we've been live streaming lately and we cashed out yesterday in the live streams. We went five and one in the live stream last night where I take a look at second half player props. So I look at these player props live and just kind of dive into these player props. The only miss was Brogdon by two PRA, by the way, and he shot one for six. So it was a great read yesterday. Should have been a sweep at six and no if Brogdon would have made one of those six shots that he made. So yeah, make sure you guys uh, have those notifications turned on or you guys can just join the dub club and you guys can get those plays sent to you without having to join the live stream also make sure that you guys join the completely free discord there are other free plays over in the discord this was uh exclusive to the dub club and the discord yesterday cash that out how about the two plays before that we cashed both of those out 50 dollars to 150 ish and then right there we cashed out our free square over on chalkboard so three straight entries have cashed over in the completely free discord so join that link is down in my description give me a follow on twitter at dmg props there's some giveaways once in a while over there and finally play responsibly and at your own risk let's dive in get to what you guys been waiting for the player props the first player prop i like is gonna be an nba category and then the pra i'm gonna scroll down until we find the mellow ball over 43 and a half pra today against the detroit pistons so, of course, we all know uh, that Terry Rozier is now on the Miami Heat. He is no longer with the Charlotte Hornets today. So, with, what that means is a lot of differences here for LaMelo Ball. Because you can see his 43.5 PRA. He's only over in 40% of games. He had this stretch of games where he was very, very good. But what happened in these games? Terry Rozier was out. That's what happened in those games where he went over just so many different times. So now you have no Hayward today and you also have no Rozier today. That's going to be absolutely huge for the Melo Ball and his usage and for him to hopefully go with his, with his PRA. He's had nine games this year without Terry Rozier. And in those games, he's been over his PRA in every single game except for one against Washington where he shot nine for 19 and just had six rebounds, six assists. It wasn't a terrible day, but uh, he just didn't really do anything super crazy there. But now LaMelo Ball has a really nice matchup today against the Detroit Pistons. He's already placed he's already played the Pistons so far this year and that was back on October 27th I believe he had 38 PRA but what happened in this game? He had 33 minutes, so he saw a good chunk of minutes. But if you take a look at his field goal percentage, he shot 4 for 17, which is 24%. So he shot 24% last time against the Pistons and just fell short of his PRA by, what, about 5 or 6 there? So I think this time he should be in a much better spot against the Pistons where he doesn't shoot completely terrible. And his usage is crazy with, you know, Terry Rozier being out. Just look at his field goal attempts that he has. He's had 19 or more field goal attempts in every single game this year without Terry Rozier. And again, Gordon Hayward is out in this game as well. He's been out for a while now. If you just take a look at games where he has had 19 or more field goal attempts, he's been very, very good. You take a look, 19 or more, he's over in 73% of games this year. Uh, the couple games that he lost, uh, I mean, he had 30 minutes and 31 minutes, so he saw a little bit fewer minutes than he really should have in those games. Uh, field goal percentage-wise, he shot 38 and 42% as well, so... I mean, a lot of these games, he's just been great in, especially without Terry Rozier, especially with those field goal attempts he's been having. And with it being a really nice match against Detroit, 
I think you can go over this player prop. You take a look at opposing point guards and how good they've been this season against them. Uh, Damian Lillard, he had 30 in the first game, or I'm sorry, the second game, and then he had 62 in the first game. So kind of completely different games there, but he did drop 62 against his team. Uh, Tyus Jones had 35 PRA against his team. So uh, Fred Van Vliet, he had uh, 36 against his team. So a lot of these high-end point guards-ish, some guys are high-end, uh, they've been able to go over this line here. I mean, Jamal Murray had 46 against his team. If Jamal Murray can get 46, so can Mellow Balls. So I'm thinking that he should be in a really, really nice spot today without Terry Rozier, and uh, he's going to have to step up for this team if they want to win this game, and uh, I expect him to be pretty aggressive here and in a pretty nice matchup here against Detroit. That's the first uh, player prop that I like right there. It's going to be Lamella Ball over 43.5 PRA. Player prop number two is going to be over in the NBA first half category. It's a player prop category that I absolutely love. I'm taking a lot of wins off these. It's how I made a lot of money on prize picks, NBA first half. Go over to the PRA category, scroll down until you find the Cleveland and the Milwaukee game. I like Jared Allen. Over 16, a first half PRA today against Milwaukee Bucks. Let's take a look at why I like this player prop here. So Jared Allen, he's been very, very good this year, especially in his last 15 games. So he's over in 79% of his last 15 games, 11 out of 14 with one push. Uh, but why, why has he been over in so many of these games here? It's because of there being no Darius Garland and because there has been no Evan Mobley. His field goal attempts have gone way up as well. You can just see his field goal attempts. He said five or more in at least 10 of those games. I think 11 of those games, if I'm not wrong. 11 out of those 15, he's had five or more field goal attempts. So he's in very, very good. He's been shooting quite a bit without those guys being in the lineup. He's already seen Milwaukee twice this year without those guys. He's had 28 and 20 first half PRA. But why is there such an edge with the first half player props? Look at his last 15. He's over in 79% of his last 15 in the first half. But how about his full game PRA? He's over in only 47% in the full game uh, compared to the first half. So that's why there's so much edge in the first half because some players are better in the first half and also because there's some blowout potential in pretty much every single game. There's a potential for a blowout. So that's why the first half is just so good in my opinion and why I love first half so much. And you just see right here with Jared Allen, he's a great example of that and how much of a difference there is between his full game PRA and his first half. But Anyways, here, the Milwaukee matchup is going to be very, very nice for him. He's already been very successful against them. The uh, games that he's played against them this year as well, by the way, he had seven field goal attempts and he had 11 field goal attempts. He's been shooting like crazy against this team. He's had seven or more or really six or more in a four straight games against Milwaukee here. So if you take a look at games where he's just seen five or more field goal attempts, how about that? Five or more field goal attempts with even Gar Garland in the lineup with... Uh, you know, all those guys being in the lineup, just any of those games, just any games where he's seen five or more field goal attempts, he's over in 68% of games, including 10 straight. So I'm loving the spot here for Jared Allen. I think he's in a very, very nice spot. The field goal attempt should be there. It has been in past matchups and I expect it to be there again today. Take a look at him on the road, just drops down a little bit slightly there, but I'm not super worried about that. I think he should be in a very, very nice spot today against Milwaukee. Love the matchup for Jared Allen, and I think he's going to go off today against Milwaukee, especially in the first half. Also, if you guys are on a sports book, I don't mind his full game PRA at about 29 and a half, 30 and a half. I think both spots are, are pretty nice. I think 29 and a half is even better, but he really hasn't even fallen on 20 or 30 this year, so... I like the spot in a sports book as well, but I do prefer the first half personally. It's just been what's been very, very good for me, and he's also been a great first half player. So as long as there's no foul trouble or anything like that, I expect him to go over this player prop pretty easily. So I'm loving Jared Allen today in his first half PRA. Those are my two player props. Jared Allen over 16 first half PRA and Lamella Ball over 43 and a half full game. PRA. Those are my two player props I like. I personally have one unit on the entry. Dub Club, they can see my dollar amounts and everything, all the units, everything. So make sure you guys join the Dub Club. We've been very, very successful as of late. You guys can just see kind of the wins that we've been having here over in the Dub Club. I mean, we've been absolutely killing it. You guys can see what we did on the one night, by the way. I mean, $40 to 120 there, $40 to 120, $40 to 120. Even more wins, just we've been going crazy, man, on the Dub Club. So make sure you guys are joining, man. Two different special offers down there. It's a lot cheaper compared to some other people out there. So if you guys want to get in, now's the best time to do so. Use the link down in my description below. But uh, also, if you guys have liked the tool that I use in today's video, it's called props.cash. I've been using this tool for about two years now. You can use the link down in my description below and promo code DUMG to get you guys 25% off of your first month of props.cash. Absolutely love props.cash. I use it for all my player prop research. Seriously, I use this tool every single day and I have been for about two years now. So if you guys like this tool, what you guys see, uh, you know, use that link down there. But with that being said, Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Best luck with your player props. I will not be streaming tonight, but I will be streaming tomorrow and also probably on Friday. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the Dub Club.